Yo, what's going on snipers and welcome back to our snipe on score Bio pro here in NHL 21 So in last episode we had three more games and our team won all three of them So we're on a bit of a winning streak as of late and now we're seven and seven as you can also see now We have 16 points in 14 games. We're playing pretty good hockey picking up a lot of assists and we're scoring goals on the odd like probably every second game yeah on average every second game we're scoring at least a goal and yeah we're still in the first line which is great hopefully this team could continue this winning streak we do have a game against Montreal on home ice and we got two road games in this episode against Detroit and Columbus so let's get to this first game already not waste any time see if we can continue our point streak as well because we've been on a point streak the last like six games I'd like to say maybe less than that or maybe more than that I don't even remember but it's been a couple episodes since our point streak uh, was snapped so hopefully we can play good against Montreal hopefully Carey Price isn't in net hopefully it's uh, like Charlie Lindgren or Caden Primo or whoever else they have actually Jake Allen might be it already in this maybe we'll see anyways because I don't think we've been above 500 at all yet let's curl back there you go oh good one T chance for Zibby but good save there and there's the Razor's Edge both us and Druin have the exact same amount of points, which is kind of surprising. I don't know how Druin has that much points. Because usually Jonathan Druin's a really inconsistent player. Nice play. Let's curl back again. Find somebody in the slot. Oh, ho, ho. Zibby almost got that chance. Nice play. Cycle it around. There you go, Zibanejad. Oh. It seems like our forwards play better than our defense on defense. Oh. Okay, I got to go off. Is there a fight happening or what when I just stopped it? I don't know. Is anybody going to score? Yep, we're going to score a goal and that was our only two shifts of the period. So, not a lot of action for us early, but um, maybe they're just trying to get our point streak to end or something. It's a nice steal. Oh, I wasn't ex expecting to shoot that off my backhand, but I was on the wrong side of the ice technically. Let's curl this in, dump that in. <laughs> that wasn't really much of a play, but it was too much more just to get a line change going. Okay, Zibby and me have a two on one. Oh, but he doesn't throw to me, and my batteries are low, so hopefully this lasts the entire episode. That wasn't me that took that penalty, right? I'm surprised that wasn't a penalty shot. Yeah, it was true, but I took it. But I'm surprised that wasn't a penalty shot, really. Wait, let me see. I don't know, he wasn't on a breakaway yet, I guess. But still. At least we're not on the penalty kill anymore, which is a good thing, because I don't even know why I, in Be a Pro you were always put on the penalty kill. Even if you're like more of a sniper, you shouldn't be technically a penalty killer. Nice, stole it back again, kick it over. Come on, Zibby. I'm going to keep out there for a tiny bit longer. Oh my goodness. Yeah, those AIs really like those board plays. But yeah, we're having a solid game for having no points, but uh, yeah, so far no points in, is it going to be the first two periods? Yeah, no points in the first two periods and Montreal ties the game up, which is not good. Hopefully we could get a point in the third or else um, our point streak is going to come to an end. The worst case scenario would be our point streak comes to an end and our team also loses. But yeah, worst case scenario, we lose this game and our team loses the game and then also we don't put up any points. We're tied and I want you to put up the pressure. Focus on attacking so we have the highest chances of scoring, okay? So he wants us to generate some momentum, which I think I could probably do. Not a bad shift, but still we need to find some offense because we haven't really had much chances this game at all. Damn, we're allowing a lot of shots as of late too. The act too. I just knocked down Alexiak. <laughs> Boom. Oh, that shot's blocked. Another hit. But damn, Alexiak's huge too. Like, this is Montreal defense is huge. Like, it makes sense actually for them to sign Alexiak because they always go for, like, kind of grindy defensive defensemen too. Nice play, Kako. Let's cycle this around. Come on, throw it to the front of the net. Oh. I don't know if I got a deflection on that. I don't think so. I don't want to be trapped in our own zone. Okay, let's get this up. Curl back. Nice. Oh. 
And we might be going to overtime potentially if we don't get anything going here in the last 19 seconds. Game winner and we almost set up some goals too. Nice pass. Oh, that was a great cycle by our team. That was probably one of the best chances I've seen this team do on like terms of cycling the puck. Cover this front. There you go. Okay, so we're going to overtime, which means we're going to be starting, I think, his center out there on OT. I'm pretty sure. Yep, we're going to be out. Oh, no, we're not. We're going to be playing out. There was a bandage added, Truba, though. Let's see if we can get uh, maybe a game-winning goal. I think I actually did set up Truba last time in overtime. Oh, nice steal. How did I stole it away? I don't even know. Oh, my goodness. I don't even know how I got that shot away, though. I was pressured hard. That was a good play. Oh no, I got caught. Nice play. Nice shot block. I gotta go off. And sorry, I just sniffled. <laughs> oh my. I'm getting into a fight in 3-on-3 three three overtime with Shea Weber. Well, this is my first career fight, so... But it's because I hit Nick Suzuki. Screw you, Shea Weber. I don't even know how I'm getting all these... Th oh my goodness, how did I beat Shea Weber? Well, there's the end of that game for me. I, I think I'll probably do get a still a shootout chance potentially, I don't know, but... was not expecting to beat uh, Shea Weber. Winning my first career fight, destroying uh, Nick Suzuki also. I think, yeah, I injured him. But, oh, I just destroyed somehow Shea Weber. I don't get how, because my guy's not even that big. But let's uh, get a screenshot of that for maybe the thumbnail for this episode just because it's something that I have not used yet. Because I have not been in a fight yet, so. <laughs> let's just go like a screenshot, maybe something like that. Because it looks like he's smiling. Or we'll get maybe a side angle on this as well. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Okay, so a pretty good game. No points for us, right? And I actually, yeah, no points for us in this game. So our point streak is definitely done. But, uh, I mean, at least we got our first fight. <laughs> and that should generate some momentum a bit. I don't know if we're going to be out there for the shootout or not. Druin walks in and nice save by Igor. Yeah, I don't know if we're going to get a shootout chance or not. Zbanajad walks in now on Price. Denied. There's a potential chance we might be able to shoot in this game. Paul Marion off the post. But we actually had a pretty good chance in that overtime on that breakaway chance. Hopefully. Come on, D'Angelo. Hopefully we win. Oh, ho, ho, D'Angelo. Last time D'Angelo was shot in the shootout, I'm pretty sure he scored. Suzuki up now, even though I thought I injured him. And he's denied as well. Damn, Igor is right up there with Carey Price. Come on, Kreider. Oh, Kreider stopped too. Who's up next? Kakaniemi. He's off the post too. Jeez. This might be a long shootout. Adam Fox is up next. Fox walks in. Denied. Wow. This is a very tight shootout. Lekin in up now. And he's stopped too. We might actually get a chance in the shootout. Yep, we're up now. Let's see if we can score the game winner. And we do. There we go, our first ever shootout goal. And we win the game too. I kind of felt like they were trying to... That was scripted to an extent though, where we were going to get our... Uh, no team uh, players were going to score and then we were put in and we get the winner on the back end. I kind of felt like we had momentum also because of the overtime, you know. What does the coach have to say? Good job, Snipe, to help us get the win. Cool. The win is within reach now. Well, the win already happened. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this kind of cutscenes should be more an intermission. I don't understand why they have that, but whatever. Okay, so the third start of the game, Carey Price, he had a good game as well. 
Yeah, we had some good chances on him. Like, that was our overtime chance, but we didn't get the winner. Truba gets second star. Unfortunately, our point streak didn't continue, but we got a shootout winner, so it's a good thing. Truba had a great game for the second straight game. And Igor gets first star with a 967 save percentage. He was really good. Okay, let's get to our second game. See if we could uh, get back on that point streak a bit. But our team at least has won four straight games now, which is pretty awesome. Okay, let's skip this segment. There we are with the boys again. Okay. So there's our stats, B minus on offense, even though we had no points, B plus defense, and A minus on team play, B overall wise. We're all the way up for like full on first line forward, which is awesome. Everything else is kind of going down. I don't know why our shootout is going down because we scored the winner, but whatever. And there's other stats, like ability wise, gaining some followers management and teammates i actually haven't used any of the branding stuff yet that's probably why our brand hasn't gone up and up against detroit in our second game and they have the exact same record as us so this should be an interesting one we do have a conversation with the reporter so he's probably going to challenge us what does he say snipe you've been pl uh, you're playing detroit red wings and more outsiders next game have you had anything to say about next matchup Oh, that's actually kind of weird that it mentions Moritz Sider because he's a German player, you know. My only concern is helping the team if I can pick up a few wins. I can't complain. I'm the best rookie on the ISO. It's just because it's a rookie race, but still. I'm just going to go with the team answer, but still. Have you considered what impact tonight's game might have on the Calder Trophy race? The voters are going to take into account the entire season. One good or bad game isn't going to change their minds. The Canucks took on the Bruins. Hmm. Brand's not going to like that. But then it says also getting wins over the course of the season. I don't really want to promise the win because our team might have been on a winning streak, but I feel like he could get scripted to lose, so I'm just going to go fit in. Hmm. Okay, so our brand is... It doesn't really matter too much about the brand. I don't really want to focus on the brand. I would rather focus on the team than anything in the management because like in real life i don't know brand doesn't matter that much i don't think so we're playing detroit and then we got columbus which should be fun i don't know for uh since it's a road few games if we're gonna do any uh sightseeing with phil Peel or what but we'll see i saw a funny video that nasher posted of uh, gavrikov bothering him to go to museums and stuff all the time and that's like that for phil Peel. But at least we went with him a couple times and didn't ignore him. But then again, Mort Sider's probably not much of a Calder frontrunner, I don't think. Ooh, this is a nice cutscene again. At the, uh, not at the Joe, at uh, Little Caesars Arena. Too bad it's not the Joe, because I, I would have liked to play with the Joe. The Joe would have been cool, because the Joe has a lot of history to it. And we're on the right side, which is great. There's a good hit to start the period. Nice. Angelo, nice play. Oh, here we go. Oh, I got a spin of deep, but I turned it over. Well, we're out there on the power play now with a minute 15 left on it. Let's see if we can get something going for this. Took it away from Cider. Nice try, and Hutton makes the save. Heedle, nice play. Might as well shoot that. Oh my goodness, stop going so slow through the neutral zone, boys. Oh, oh. I didn't even expect to get a shot out of it, but okay. Game. Oh my goodness, I just got tripped. Who was that that tripped me even? Matt Benning, okay. Let's see if the team can get a goal on the power play here. No, they can't yet. We're still on the power play though, the start, uh, the second period, which is good. Not a great first period. We had a couple good shots, but... Uh, scoreless after one so at least we're not trailing nice pass shoot that uh, how is that a badly aimed shot i tried to shoot it the opposite way where the goalie was going like i said i don't really care about the points as long as our team gets the w's and we're up one nothing which is great as we look to potentially win five in a row tonight Yeah, we're not getting much ice time either, and Mantha ties the game up at one apiece. 
Uh, Craig Smith again. Let's cover the front of the net. Cover the point. Nice play, boys. Here we go. Lindgren over to me again. Get by the defense a bit. Throw it across. Oh, ho, ho. that almost worked. And Zvanajak gets tripped, so we're going back to the power play late again. Guess we're going to go to the front of the net here late in this second period. Let's go to the front of the net. Oh, good try. And, yep. Still tied going into the third period. Let's see if we can get uh, something going because this team hasn't really had much momentum this game, I don't think. We're going to be back out there on this power play again, which is good. At least you're giving us some chances, and the coach wants us to probably swing the momentum our way, right? Yep, up the pressure. Sounds good. I'll try and up the pressure. Zaban Judd's pretty solid, but the other ones are like, eh. Maybe that's our problem. Oh, there you go. Nicely done, Grigorenko. That was actually kind of a nasty little backhand. Like, I uh, was tied up, so I couldn't go to the front of the net for anything, but... Um, nice little pass across. Here you go, let's skate in. Oh, come on, there had to have been someone there. Come on, Zibby. There you go. Oh, good try. At least we're getting some shots on goal. Nice play. Let's go up with it. Oh. Damn, Zibby was in way too deep. Okay, I gotta go off. And yes, it is. And the boys, though, have won five in a row now, so... I'm fine with it. We've had no points in back-to-back -back games for one of the first times, I think, in our career, though. So that means we're probably back to being point per game. But five straight wins, though, that's great. I can't complain when you did it there. Sure, coach. Another neutral challenge. Wasn't a bad game, wasn't a great game either, though. Yeah, I didn't really have much offense, I don't think. Let's see. I had four shots on goal, one hit. Hmm. Yeah, we didn't get as much ice time as some games that we've had so far. But yeah, hopefully this last game of this episode we could at least get some points going because it's been a bit offensive, like, stalemate. Like, we've been getting some shots, setting up some chances, but we haven't really done much, so. And we got a new front runner based on that performance with the rookie watch, right? I mean, what a performance. The coaching staff check. Let's see, so our forward stuff actually went down a bit because we didn't put up points. Yeah, we went down in everything because we aren't putting up points, which is kind of weird. C plus overall. Our puck skills went down. Probably because of their turnovers. Hmm. We're still gaining some followers. And management and teammates are staying the same, okay. Hmm. Yeah, we need to work on it. And we have a conversation with our Timmy Panarin. Okay, so this is our first conversation with somebody else other than uh, Philip Hedel. I just want to go to the History Museum here in Detroit. I don't know when. No, wait, actually, yeah, I might be able to because the Columbus game, I think, was a couple of days afterwards. I consider myself a history buff. Of course, I want to join. I'm not feeling so great. Maybe next time. And I do not see why I shouldn't. I should go, Artemi. I mean, if Artemi Panarin's coming over to hang out. I gotta say, sure. Yeah, sure, I'll, I'll join because I think there's like a couple uh, days before the game line as well. Great snipe, I have a f if we have a few questions about the exhibits, we can ask you. History class was my favorite class in high school. I would probably know more than true guide. I mean, I did like history, but I wasn't that smart. Always knew playing attention in school would one day pay off. Hmm. You know what, I'll do that. See how that works. That's more than a lot of guys could say on the team snipe, but it's true. Because not everybody technically graduated. See you there, Artemi. I'll be there early. <laughs> Guess I'm going to a history museum in Detroit with Artemi Panarin. Kind of cool, actually, though, when you have one, uh, like, those conversations with people with an actual game face. Not like Filipino, where it's just a generic face. Okay, so we're 9-7 and seven against an 8-7-1 team. Oh, what does the coach have to say? Come on, score, we've been hot lately. We need to keep the momentum going. The way we've been playing lately, I can see a lot of teams. I can't see a lot of teams beating us. And we're not 
I'm not spending any time worrying about the streak myself. The main concern is playing well if we could do that win. I'll just go team again. Exactly, Snipe. I need you to make sure that nobody is going to beat us. I'll just promise. I'm not over-promising. Because I, I, this team could easily have their losing streak, uh, our winning streak, like, end. So our challenge is to win this game against Columbus. But I have a feeling there could be some issues with that because it could be a tough matchup. Because Columbus has a pretty similar record to us. They're 8-7-1. Let's see if we can win this game and impress our coach. This is a big one, getting a challenge from the coach, because we got a challenge from media at one point, a challenge from Phil Pedal, but this is probably our biggest one, considering it's right from the coach itself. So if we end up like not fulfilling this, maybe he'll like demote us to like the second line or something, you never know. Hopefully we could win. And hopefully my controller batteries don't die, because they still are low. Okay, another cutscene. Before a game is there a place to calm down? Uh, everybody does it different. You can. I mean, I like to stay around the locker room. Some guys, like the rookie, get out into the bowl of the arena. They listen to some music. They might sit on the bench and tape their stick. Everybody can find a spot. I kind of like that cutscene because, like, uh, Columbus is my uh, is my second favorite team. So, but yeah, my guy seems to have a little bit of anxiousness about this. Because he was shaking his wrist a bit. Whoa. Keep it rolling, boys. Hashtag winning streak. On puck luck 13. Yeah, hopefully we could keep this streak alive. And the simulation, is it going to screw us over, though? No, it's not. We're up 2 1. The simulation has actually been pretty helpful for us lately. What does the coach say? Snape, you, uh, we haven't had any sustained pressure and you change that, sure. Even though we're up 2-1, you want us to up the pressure more? Okay. Maybe it's just because the, those were sim goals. Just pass across. Oh, my battery just died. Just let me change my, uh, charge my controller. Okay, so there might be a lot of random cuts in this episode because my uh, controller thing disconnects a lot, but I'm trying to uh, make sure it doesn't. Come on, Kako. Oh, good shot from there. Let's get that back to the point. Good cycling going. Oh, deflection chance, but we don't get anything. Oh, there's an assist. Let's go. I threw it to the net, and the rebound Zabanajad got out of that uh, mess in front of the net. And we have taken a 3-1 lead, so there's at least a point in this episode. And we're now up by two goals, which is more important. Nice goal. And we also had two shots on goal. So yeah, that was a good shift, and now we're up 3-2. This is a really offensive game, but we are on the power play this start next period, which is good. But yeah, I wasn't expecting a lot of offense from uh, both teams, but it's a 3-2 game after one. Juan Foss, let's change sides, nice play. Oh, oh ho ho. I almost got an assist there. Oh, Hedl tried to find me. We're getting some good offensive zone time, but man, I'm surprised uh, Heedle didn't put that in back door. Oh my goodness. Oh. I just destroyed Cam. I feel so bad doing that because he's my favorite player. Oh my goodness. What was that? Get that back. Let's get around. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, I hate that when it happens. Like you try to throw a pass back and you end up throwing it way out of the zone. Apparently this game's getting pretty physical too. And damn it, they tied it up. Oh, this is not good. Okay. And it's gonna be 3-3 going into the third, so we need to have a very strong output here in the third. Because we want the coach to be happy. If we don't do this, he might demote us, you never know. Or he might lose a lot of our first line in time. We're from it. Nice. Oh my goodness, they just hit the post. Okay, we need to cover the point. Nailed Cam again. Let's get this out. And let's dump it. Oh, yeah, this is a game that we might end up losing. 
I feel like it's kind of scripted. Oh, it might be scripted. Uh, uh, yep, it might be scripted because they just took the lead with 12 minutes to go. Let's go, boys. Let's go. Nice passing play. Oh my goodness. Are you serious? Yeah, the coach is not going to be happy with me even if we are having an okay game. Oh, no, there's a goal. Oh, it's for us, thank God. <laughs> yeah, this game might be scripted. 4.54 left, and it's a 4-4 game. Okay, let's carry it up. Let's cut it back. There you go, Fox. D'Angelo right down Main Street, but he stopped. Come on, boys. There you go, nice pass. Let's play it in. Oh, my goodness, I got poked, but Fox kept it in, and Heedle gets a chance. I was going to try and go for a slapper on that play. Good old-fashioned, like, Brian Rolston style, you know? There you go, Fosty. Nice pegging. Oh. Nice. Oh, my goodness. There you go. We take the lead. I didn't get an assist on that, but I will take that. That was actually a nasty-looking goal. Philip Heal gets his seventh goal of the year. He's actually had a pretty solid season so far. But the passing on that play was top-notch. And then Philip Peel with a really nice shot too. Let's take a look at this afterwards in the replay thing, but Yeah, that was just like a tic-tac-toe and an extra stuff play, but look at this. Faust making a couple deeks, then he throws it to me. I throw it right back to the point. And then Grigorenko throws it down low to Faust again. And then Faust throws it right to the slot and a blast from Heedle right from there. Bam. And that was a good play. Not yet. 46 seconds left. We need to play hard defense here. To secure this victory. Why did I start right in the middle of the ice? Take it away. There you go. I don't care about getting an empty net goal. An assist would be okay, but... Oh my goodness. Zibby got injured. No, we need to play defense here. Oh. Yikes. Oh, there you go. Let's get that on the net. Oh my goodness. I missed an empty net. Oh, uh, I don't want to pull a Patrick Stefan now, please. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, my goodness. Yikes. I didn't mean to go back all the way to this point area. Oh, jeez. Oh, I almost pulled a Patrick Stefan and then score on the empty net, and then they almost tied it up. But there you go. We get the W. That was a perfect block shot. That goal wouldn't have been possible without you. Okay. I don't know which block shot you meant. But, okay, I'll take that. My guy's smiling, which is good. The coach is happy. And we also completed his challenge, which is good. But we get that win, which is crucial. Only one assist in that game from us, and I think we were a plus two. Let's take a look. No, we were a plus one. Oh yeah, because one was a power play point. Two shots on goal, three hits. Not too bad. Definitely been a bit of a stalemate for offense, but uh, I'll take it. Let's take a look at if there's any cutscenes after the game. There's probably a meeting with the coach, I would assume, about our challenge. And then we'll get it set up for next episode. Is us the game of the boys continuing that winning streak, six straight wins. So B minus on offense, B minus defense, and A minus on team play. We went up in every single category except for a shootout. Player growth wise, let's see. We're going up in everything. Our shooting only a tiny bit went up. Yeah, because we didn't score, but whatever. And likability stuff, our followers going up, and our management and teammates did not go up yet, but they probably will go up after we do that challenge thing completed. So our next game is going to be against Vancouver. Let's just see if there's a cutscene. Yes, there's a conversation with our coach. After last game, what did he say? Way to go, Snipe. Doesn't look like we're going to lose anytime soon. I don't know if uh, he's going to get mad at me if we do end up losing, but... Yeah, it's been a good winning streak so far. Six straight games. Going from four and six to... Or, wait. What is our record now? Yeah, going from four and seven to now ten and seven. Let's take a look at okay, so... 
Anyways, guys, that's going to do it for this episode of our Snipe Phone Score Bio Pro. So in next episode, we got three more games, Vancouver, the Islanders, and I don't know who else. And yeah, we're point per game currently, so we're been, we've been having some struggles as of late, but we are still winning games, and that's the most important thing. So let me know what you guys think down below, and I'll see you guys next time. Yeah.